I wanted to show you a few highlights that are in my garden this time of year. Summer is a brilliant part of the year, but the beginning is when really special things happen. There's lots of things to do and things to look out for, like summer fruit, peaches, nectarines, apricots, they're all coming in now. But if you don't do one thing, and that's get control of fruit fly, both the Mediterranean and Queensland types, you're in trouble. Now, you can spray and you can also put baits, but for me, those yellow sticky traps do the very best job. This dwarf Trixie peach from Fleming's Nurseries is available through most good garden centres around Australia. They call them Trixie and whilst the tree is a true dwarf grower, the fruit isn't. It's full sized and absolutely delicious. Now have a look at these roses. This is a problem that occurs all too often. What you'd like with your roses is for it to look like that. But more often than not, this time of the year, they're looking like this. And it's because of a thrip, a flower thrip that damages the petals just as the bud's starting to develop and open up. And it just burns them around the outside edges. It's a real disaster because this particular thrip has become completely resistant to most insecticides out there. Now, the first thing you need to do if you're not sure whether you've got it is just to tap the flowers against a piece of paper and then take a look at the top and you'll see these little bugs, these little pinpricks start running away. That's the thrips. The treatment for the problem is blue sticky paper. It's really effective. All you do is hang it amongst the plants. The thrips are attracted to blue and they'll go there before they hit the flower buds. The best treatment is all about natural balance. Now there are some biological controls that are extremely effective and they're probably the preferred option because it means you're not using chemicals. Now by biological, what I mean is predatory insects that predate the bug that's causing the problem. In the case of thrips, there's a couple of mites that will eat the larvae so they never develop into adults to cause the problems you're seeing. And there's also two pirate bugs that you can get as well. Now you order these all online from this website and what you do is they'll send them through to you in the mail, you release them into the garden and because there's lots of food, their populations explode and they'll get control of the bugs and it'll live in this proper balance so you don't end up with all the obvious damage that's being caused to your plants. Of all fruit, citrus are the most rewarding to grow, but the biggest complaint I get about them is not usually pests, it's usually splitting fruit. What happens is we give these plants too much love and it's because we see them starting to produce fruit. When they set fruit though, it's intended to be a certain size, probably about that size, but with extra water and extra fertiliser, you end up with a real problem. Now the solution is don't give them any extra. In fact, back the water off, definitely don't give them a feed. And what'll happen is your fruit will have more intense flavours and you'll find that the skin is a little bit thinner, which means you get more flesh and better quality fruit. Now, if you want to know any more tips about things you should be doing in your garden or things you should be looking out for, simply check out our website.